Good afternoon, my name is Chris Holgain, and I just completed my first workout video. There are four primary reasons why I made this video. The first one is, is that I found it very difficult to find practical workout videos with routines that older men can do. While there are a lot of workout videos for women, there are far less for older men. The second reason why I made this video is because as most men enter their 40s and 50s and 60s and beyond, they become less active. And when you become less active, that's not good. Health issues can ensue, and it's really important for us to be active just as we were in our 20s and 30s, regardless of how far we go, whether it's our 60s or 70s or beyond, it's critically important to stay active. Number three, it really is not only beneficial to you as an individual to stay fit and to work out, but the benefits are very significant for your family as well. I just took my six-year-old granddaughter for her first hike this year, and I hope that for, for a number of years to come that her and I can continue to go hiking, we can do skiing, and all those other outdoor activities that I'd really like to do with her and my young grandson as well. Fourthly, I really believe that it's a God-given expectation for us to take care of our bodies. Both through diet and exercise, they go hand in hand. And so what you're about to see is a set of routines that I've been doing for a pretty good number of years. And these routines address the upper body as opposed to the lower body. What I do is I work out every other day lifting weights for my upper body. On the off days, I work out in a community gym for my, lo for my legs, for my lower body. Now, we're in the process of COVID-19 right now, so all the community gyms are shut down. But So the way I'm addressing that is through walking three to five miles a day or getting on my mountain bike and riding eight to nine miles a day that keeps the legs in shape. And so if you do these things hand in hand, it will provide a good fitness routine for you. You'll feel better overall. And I hope you're able to get something from what you're about to see in this video. This is the exercise that sets up my entire routine to follow. It's a one knee arm row and it basically loosens up my back, works the lats very well. And this is how it goes. I do four sets of 15. This way. Okay, here we go now. We're going to do the reverse side. We're going to work the left arm. You want to keep your back straight, your head up, maximum stretch in your arm, and you really want to focus on working out your lats in this exercise. There's another exercise I like to do to warm up before I begin the routine, and that is push-ups. I do four sets of 20. It's an opportunity to warm up uh, the deltoids, your pectoral muscles, your back, your core, which is really important because if you start a routine too early, before your muscles are warmed up, you have a high risk of pulling your muscles, and that's certainly not a good thing. So I typically do four sets of 20, and here's what that looks like. Your back is straight, arms extended, and you do it slow. No reason to do it quickly. You're getting good stretch in your pecs. You're wearing up your arms. Okay, now the next routine that I'm going to be getting into is the bench press. And before I begin the bench press, what I like to do is to warm up my pectoral muscles. 
And the way I do that is by taking a couple of 30 pound dumbbells and doing four sets of 20. Four sets of 20. This normally loosens things up before I begin to use the Olympic bar behind me. This is what this looks like. After four sets of using these dumbbells, then I'm ready to start using the, the Olympic set. Behind. Now we're going to do the next routine, which is the bench press, using the Olympic bar behind me. Now what I do with this routine is I do four sets total, four sets of 20. The first two sets are with 245s, then I, then I add a 10 pound weight to each side to finish out the last two sets. This is what that exercise routine looks like. So I've now completed the first two sets. I've added a little bit more weight. I'm going to do two sets of 20. The reason why I do more uh, reps in a set is because I'm not concerned about bulk or getting bigger. All I want to do at 66 years old is to maintain my strength in all areas. So doing more reps in a set enables a person our age to do that. This is what that looks like. You know, I just had this funny thought, and it is, as we get older, gravity kicks in. And when gravity kicks in, everything in our body starts head and cell. One of the things we can do with respect to our pectoral muscles is an incline bench, which helps build the upper part of the pectoral. Uh, and over time, obviously, things are going to go cell. But it helps retain some shape that you had in your youth that you still like to have as you're getting older. This is what that incline bench uh, looks like. reflecting on my previous comment about gravity and gravity is a good thing unless you're getting older anyway uh, we learned a little with it what I've done here is I've added two uh, 10 pound weights to the Olympic bar and I just completed the two sets with a little bit lighter weight so I'm going to do two sets of 15 to finish out uh, the chest routines this is an incline bench routine this is what it looks like at the heavier weight
completed the bench press and the incline bench press, we're not finished working the chest yet. So we're going to go to an exercise called butterflies. And I take a couple of dumbbells. These just happen to be 30 pounds a piece. And I will do four sets of 20 to get maximum stretch in the pectoral muscle. This is what that looks like. Having good strong abs is really key to having a good core. So this next exercise uh, I would call is uh, would be pullovers, and uh, really helps in um, strengthening your ab muscles. I do four sets of twenty. This is what that looks like. You're getting full stretch all the way past your head. You can feel it in your abs. Okay, so now we've completed workout, working our lats, our back, uh, we've warmed up our pecs, we're using the dumbbells, we completed bench press routines, we completed bench press incline routines, and now we're going to move to another exercise that helps maintain strength in the core. It also helps keep your waistline slim, uh, and this is one of my favorites. So I use a 40 pound dumbbell, and I'm going to do four sets of 20. This is what that exercise looks like. You want to make sure you have a good base, so your feet are spread apart, you're balanced, and move with the dumbbell as far as you can, side to side. You feel it in your core, and again, you're working your waistline. Four sets of 20. There are three exercises I like to use to work out my shoulders. The sides, the front, and the back. The first one is called a lateral rise. And what I do is four sets of 10 to 12 in a set. Imagine for a minute you're going to bend your knees just a bit. And it's like picking up two buckets of water where you're coming out to your side. And the focus is on the muscles, on the outside muscle of your shoulder. It's called a lateral rise. So I've got two 25 pound dumbbells and this is what that exercise looks like. Again, my knees are, are slightly bent, my feet are separated, and I'm going to focus bringing the dumbbells out to my side with uh, four sets, 10 to 12 reps in a set. Boy, that really provides some burn on the outside of the shoulder. It's a great exercise though. Okay, following the routine of the lateral rise, the next routine is a front rise. And basically what you're doing, again, you're separating your feet slightly, bending your knees. In this case, you're gonna bring those buckets of water straight up and down, straight up and down. And this really works not only the front part of your shoulders, it works your core, you can feel it in your abs, it's a great exercise. Uh, I do four sets here too of 10 to 12. And this is what that looks like, same 
25 pound dumbbells. Arms slightly bent. Bring them up as high as you can. The trifecta of the shoulder workout. This particular exercise works the back of the shoulder. I do four sets of 10 to 12, sometimes 15 if I'm feeling good. This is what that exercise looks like. <clears throat> Bring it up. They work in the back of your shoulder. the shoulder workout. I hope this will be helpful to you. Well, I'm hopeful that you found some ideas in looking at those routines. If you're not already active lifting weights, weights aren't totally required to have a fitness program. You can always do push-ups. There are other things you can do uh, uh, that are more cardio related, uh, running, walking, things of that nature. Uh, but it's important to do something. It's important to do something. So her, here are a few other takeaways I'd like to leave you as we close out in this video. Number one, exercise and diet go hand in hand. There's such a focus on dieting today of losing weight, and that's a good thing. But if you don't exercise while you're dieting, that loose skin's got to go somewhere. And so exercise and diet are equally as important. That's very important. Uh, secondly, exercising requires a habit. If you're not in the habit of already exercising, it, you're going to need one. Because believe me, there are many days where my head says, I don't feel like exercising today. <laughs> uh, however, I know how important it is and I, and I do it anyway. And so it requires a habit. It's a habit for a lifetime, but the benefits are just enormous. So in closing, I hope this video will give you inspiration to exercise, whether it's walking, swimming, lifting weights, whatever it is, please be active. Don't sit on the couch. Don't seek comfort all the time as we get older because that's a recipe for disaster <clears throat> long term. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. Take care.